guys, let's get started. So today you're going to need a piece of paper. You can even use notebook paper if you don't have regular paper. Something to trace a circle with. I found this in my garage. You could use um, the cap of a lid or maybe some tub aware, but just make sure whatever you use to trace, you have some room around the border. And instead of using a pencil, I'm gonna use a black marker so that you can see. And I'm gonna press hard. Remember when you're tracing, you wanna press up against whatever you're tracing. Done. In the center, I'm gonna go a little quick um, just to save some time. In the center, I'm gonna draw like a triangle shape. You can draw whatever shape you want for the nose. Um, you could do something, oh, whatever shape you want. And then I'm going to use the circle tracer again to draw a line from there to the outside of the circle and from there to the outside of the circle. And now I'm going to add some eyes. So kind of a curved line up here and a curved line down here for an open eye. This is going to be the sun side of my artwork. Another curved line, a circle in the middle, and I want some reflective sources, so I'm going to draw two circles and then color the inside black. And I think I want some eyelashes. You don't have to add this, and guys, you can change it up any way you want. And then on this side, I'm looking at this side and trying to make it symmetrical, but I'm only going to draw a bottom curved line because this is going to be the moon side. And I want this to look like it's sleeping. All right, then we've got the nose, and now we can add the mouth. You could add a simple smile. I think I want to add some lips. So I think I'm going to draw some kind of curvy lines and then a curvy line down here. And now I'm going to split my paper in half. One straight line, one straight line. And on this right side, I'm going to draw another line. I'm going to draw a diagonal line from the circle down to the corner of the paper, from the circle up to the corner of the paper, and then I'm also going to split these sections in half as well, um, just with another straight line. Awesome. Now I'm going to pick a line, and I'm going to, hmm, how about I do kind of like a castle line. I'm going to skip one. Do another type of castle line. Skip one. Do another castle line. Skip one. Do another castle line. And skip one. And then I'm going to go back and do another type of line. You know what? I'm going to do a shape. How about a upside down triangle? You can do any shape you want. I'm going to go off the page. Another triangle. Remember, friends, you can always pause or um, rewind the video if you need to think. All right, and on this side, I'm going to do um, a parallel line, parallel to this cir half circle or semicircle I've already drawn, and I'm going to try to fit about five. So I'm making sure that I have about a finger length in between. might have to go off the page. Another one off the page, coming back on. And one more. So I got one, two, three, four, five, oh, about six. How many ever you can fit. Just try to make sure you have a finger length in between. And then I'm going to, sorry, I've got to turn my paper upside down to make this easier. Draw some kind of wavy lines. And then I'm going to skip one and do the same thing. Kind of like a more organic type of line. Skip one and do the same thing. And then I'm going to add a shape. How about an oval? Space, oval, space, oval. Off the 
paper. Make sure you have something under so you're not marking up a table. Family would be very happy about that. All right, and now that I'm finished, I'm gonna separate the cool colors because I want them on the moon side from the warm colors. So remember the cool colors are, if you think about nighttime or the ocean, you've got your blues, your green, purple. Think about the sun, you've got your warm colors like red, orange, yellow, pink, um, and you can begin coloring.